Happy Halloween! I'm Mrs. Black and today I'd like to th read three stories to you. The first one is called The Halloween House by Erica Silverman and the pictures are by John Agee. The Halloween House. Here's our first picture. In the dark house, in a dark, dingy den, a papa werewolf crouched with his little one's ten. How, said the papa. We how, said the ten. So they howled through the field in the dark, dingy den. In the Halloween house, on a bed made of pine, a mama vampire woke with her little one's nine. Rise, said the mama. We rise, said the nine. So they rose through the night from the bed made of pine. In the Halloween house, on a slimy old plate, a papa worm huddled with his little one's eight. Squirm, said the papa. We squirm, said the eight. So they squirm through the night on the slimy old plate. Ooh, that plate is slimy. In the Halloween house under rafters near heaven, a mama bat hung with her little one seven. Swoop, said the mama. We swoop, said the seven. So they swoop through the night under rafters near heaven. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the Halloween house above bent candlesticks, a papa ghost hovered with his little ones. Six, boo, said the papa. We boo, said the six. So they booed through the night above bent candlesticks. In the Halloween house, by a yawning fireside, a mama monster played with her little ones. Five. Chase, said the mama. We chase, said the five. So they chased through the night by the yawning fireside. In the Halloween house, on a Creaky cobweb floor. A papa skeleton swayed with his little ones. Four. Dance, said the papa. We dance, said the four. So they danced through the night on the creaky cobweb floor. In the Halloween house among junk and debris, a mama spider wove with her little ones. Three. Swing, said the mama. We swing, said the three. So they swung through the night among junk and debris. Debris is another word for a mess of things. In the Halloween house where the books were askew, a papa cat lurked with her little ones, too. Pounce, said the papa. We pounce, said the two. So they pounced through the night where the books were askew. There's one, two. In the Halloween house where the cauldron was hung, a mama witch chanted with her little witch one. Fly, said the mama. I fly, said the one. So she flew through the night where the cauldron was hung. And the cauldron is the big hot. In the Halloween house at the rise of the sun, the parents all said hush to their children, little ones. Vanish, they whispered. And then there were none. Halloween was over at the rise of the sun. Home, sweet home. The Halloween House. My second book today is called Mostly Monsterly. 
And this is written by Yami Sauer and illustrated by Scott Magoon. On the outset, on the outside, Bernadette was mostly monsterly. She had pointy ears, huge eyes, fangs, claws, tail, two toes, and cr creepy necklace. She lurched and she growled. She caused mayhem of all kinds. But underneath the fangs and fur, Bernadette had a deep, dark secret. Sometimes when she was all by herself, she liked to pick flowers. And little kittens and pet kittens and bake. Oops, that's not a very good way. For a monster, Bernadette was just a little too sweet. When it came time to go to school with the other monsters, Bernadette felt a teensy bit nervous. Here she's going off to school. To get to her school, she has to go through that gate. And it says, welcome students. In Monster Moves class, everyone practiced lurching techniques. Except Bernadette. Group hug, everybody. That didn't go over too well. They didn't want to hug. During creepy noises class, everyone worked on growling skills. Except Bernadette. She burst into song. Love me tender, love me true. I'm a monster who loves you. Someone ate her microphone. And in advanced monster mayhem class, everyone conquered castles, dismantled villages, and flattened cities. Except you know who. Hey guys, look what I did. Clearly, uh, the other monsters gasped. Clearly, the situation called for Bernadette's secret weapon. Treats! Bernadette's classmates crowded around her and smacked their lips. Bug parts? Bernadette shook her head. Fried snail goo? Nope, said Bernadette. Fish heads dipped in hot sauce. Even better. She lifted the lid. Cupcakes with sprinkles. Gross. The other monsters took one look and then they huffed out to recess. Bernadette's tail drooped. She trudged to the window and watched her classmates on the playground. They stomped, they slobbered, they scared the leaves off the trees. They're acting like total monsters, said Bernadette. Wait! A toothy grin spread across her face. That's it! Bernadette went right to work. She's using glue and scissors and paper and crayons. After recess, the monsters eyeballed their desk. Ooh, they grumbled. Those cards are probably nice. Let's see, look at the cards. Then they took a closer look. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This clipping's from my pinky toe. Roses are red, violets are blue. In this card, 
I went a choo. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Here's a hacked up gift from me. Soon, everyone got the spirit of the things. As for Bernadette, group hugs. She earned herself a gold star. Bernadette was mostly monsterly. She lurched, she growled, she caused mayhem of all kinds. But sometimes she was just Bernadette and that was okay too. The end. And my third book today is called Big Pumpkin and it's by Erica Silverman and illustrated by S.D. Schindler. Big Pumpkin. Once there was a witch who wanted to make a pumpkin pie, so she planted a pumpkin seed. She weeded and watered, and after a while, a sprout poked through, and then a pumpkin grew, and it grew, and it grew, and then it grew some more. Soon, Halloween was just hours away. The witch thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take her pumpkin off the vine. You see the witch? Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat! said the witch. Just then along came a ghost. Big pumpkin, said the ghost. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than you and stronger too, boasted the ghost. Let me try, <clears throat> said the witch. But she thought about pumpkin pie and she stepped aside. The ghost bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled and first he pulled hard and then he pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the ghost. Just then, along came a vampire. Big pumpkin, said the vampire. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine. And Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than both of you and stronger too, boasted the vampire. Let me try, <laughs> said the witch, <laughs> said the ghost. What do you think is going to happen? Well, before they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside, the vampire bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the vampire. Just then along came a mummy. Big pumpkin, said the mummy. It's big and it's mine and it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch and she kicked that pumpkin. I am bigger than all of you and stronger too, boasted the mummy. Let me try, hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. But then they thought about pumpkin pie and they stepped aside. The mummy bent down to take the pumpkin pie off the vine. Well, she pulled 
and she tugged and she pulled. First she pulled hard and then she pulled harder, but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the mummy. Just then along came a bat. Big pumpkin, said the bat. The witch didn't say a word. She just looked at the ghost and rolled her eyes. The ghost looked at the vampire. The vampire looked at the mummy. They all looked at the little bat and they started to laugh. I may be not I may not be big and I may not be strong, said the bat, but I have an idea. And the bat told them what to do. Hmm, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. Hmm, said the mummy. Ready, set, pull, called the bat. The bat pulled the mummy, the mummy pulled the vampire, the vampire pulled the ghost, the ghost pulled the witch, and the witch pulled the pumpkin. Well, they pulled and they tugged and they pulled. First they pulled hard and then they pulled harder. And... <gasps> Snap! Off came the pumpkin. Drat, said the witch. Whoosh! It flew, and it flew, and thud. It landed on top of a hill, and thump, 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 thump. It bounced all the way down to the witch's house, and when it got to her door, that pumpkin just sat. Hooray for the bat, shouted the witch, and she hurried inside to make pumpkin pie. Mmm, said the ghost. I love some more, said the witch. Couldn't eat another bite, said the vampire. Fun party, said the mummy. Time to go, said the bat. Drat, said the witch, as she watched them all leave. Then she went right out and planted another pumpkin seed. The end. Happy Halloween.